We elect people to our parliaments to represent us. Let's face it, you can't have 26 million people in the federal parliament. Each of us gets a vote to decide who will represent us, not to decide who we send to Canberra to please themselves. According to the latest news poll, 84% of coalition voters oppose the voice. As you know, the Prime Minister has provided no details. He says he hasn't even read the full Uluru statement. But here's the rub. That hasn't stopped Liberal members of Parliament, State and Federal, from supporting the yes case. What 84% of coalition voters are opposed to the voice. The brutal truth is this. Behind the scenes, these representatives of ours, Liberal, it seems, in name only, have run a secret campaign to frustrate the will of grassroots members and prevent the New South Wales Liberal Party, I'm just dealing with New South Wales, from supporting Peter Dutton and his no campaign. The Yes campaign has raised over $100 million from big unions, Labor, Greens, Teals, and of course the big corporates, money everywhere. But these Liberals purporting to represent us have blocked postal vote applications in order to starve voters of information on the No campaign. Well, the No advocates in the Liberal Party should be named. Advocating No. Susan Lee, good people. These are the good ones. Susan Lee, Angus Taylor, Holly Hughes, Melissa McIntosh, and to his credit, Alex Hawke. Indeed, Hawke, McIntosh and Senator Hughes are providing support for the No campaign on the ground. That's about it. That's about it. So, who the Liberal Party chooses for Parliament should matter, shouldn't it? Members should tell the yes Liberals what they think of their decision to back Labor's divisive, risky and permanent voice. Remember these people at the next pre-selection. Andrew Bragg publicly supports the yes campaign. He faces pre-selection for the Senate next year. Julian Lisa, the safe seat of Barara, self-described as a constitutional conservative, resigned from the shadow ministry to support the yes case. James Wallace is the vice president of the Liberal Party, a factional protege of Matt Keane, and demands the New South Wales division stay neutral on the voice. Felicity Wilson, the state member for North Shore, publicly supports the yes case and has campaigned with Zali Stegall and Labor MPs on the issue. James Griffin, the state member for Manly, attacks Labor for being too pro-coal, publicly supports the yes case. Matt Keane, likewise, state member for Hornsby, attacks Labor for being too pro-coal and publicly supports the yes case. Remember he actually told young people voting to ignore their parents. Natalie Ward, Deputy Leader of the Liberal Party, Member of the Upper House, refuses to disclose her position on The Voice, which means she won't publicly support no. Jackie Munro, a member of the New South Wales Legislative Council. She got there this year without a pre-selection by a margin of one vote, publicly supports the yes case. Maria Kovacic, now remember she quit as State President to run for the Senate. She refused to disclose her position on The Voice until after the pre-selection, when she publicly endorsed the concept of The Voice. Jenny Ware, federal member for Hughes, imposed there without a pre-selection. A lefty, she's declined to oppose The Voice. Mark Speakman, leader of the New South Wales opposition, publicly supports the yes case. Trent Zimmerman, imposed in North Sydney without facing a single regular pre-selection, lost the federal seat at the last election to a teal, publicly supports the yes case and has joined the yes campaign. Paul Fletcher has done nothing for the no campaign, despite being in Mr Dutton's shadow cabinet. He's the member for the Blue Ribbon Bradfield seat, refuses to say how he'll vote. David Coleman, the federal member for Banks since 2013, the same as Paul Fletcher done nothing for the no campaign and refuses to say how he'll vote, which means he'll vote yes. Scott Morrison is apparently a no voter, but has done nothing at all for the campaign. Point is this, nearly nine in 10 Liberal voters say they intend to vote no on Saturday. And yet all of these New South Wales and federal Liberals are either supporting the yes campaign or refusing to state their position, refusing to support the no campaign. And that is why the Liberals are out of power. Those elected to represent the Liberal base 
are completely out of touch with the base. In New South Wales, the party membership is down to just 9,100 financial members in a state of 7 million people. 9,100. That's not the only outrage. The lefties have essentially hijacked the New South Wales Liberal Party. Saturday is critical. We don't want this country divided by race. We don't want people given special privileges because of their race, their colour or their ancestry. We don't want race-based changes to the Constitution. We all put our hands in our pockets to help disadvantaged Australians and generously help Aboriginal Australians. For those Aboriginal Australians still disadvantaged, the answer is not a so-called voice. The answer is a pair of political ears receptive to the concerns that Jacinta Price has been outlining for years and been ignored. On Saturday, we should ignore the threats and the bullying and the intimidation and with confidence and courage, vote no.